fruit kitty. I'm gonna have some banana. Actually, I'll show you a better example where we, you could probably taste the leaf. This is katuk, katuk? so it's an Asian, it's also known as sweet leaf. The leaves taste ah. nutty, kind of like peanuts. And Just like um, very good. almondy. Yeah, it's got a I really like that. So. Sweet leaf. This is berries. These are... Um, yeah, crunch it. Malabar Shoot it up. And they the make flavor berries? comes. Oh, are you yeah, getting it? The nutty the flavor? <laughs> Not too much flavor to the berries, but yeah, I guess you can use it in wraps and stuff. Um, it doesn't it hasn't been too popular. It kind of has like a gelatinousy mm. um, texture. Can I taste one? Yeah, you can go ahead uh, and do something okay. like this. Sure. Yeah. And a uh, cool shape though would be nice. Looks for wraps, spinach. Right. It's pretty good. Video. It's like spinach. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. You can make a wrap out of it like so. Mm. And have a nice burrito oh. mm. with a guacamole or something. Ooh, mm. that sounds good. Yeah. Um, ornamental flowers. Oh, spider plants. Yeah, those are some ornamentals. You know about them? Oh, yeah, yeah, we had I, them in Canada. Okay. They clean oxygen. Yeah. Well, okay. So they're really good indoor plants. Yeah, yeah, exactly. For indoor, a lot of those really good. Indoor plants are found here in the nature. Those yeah, <laughs> exactly. This one was planted, but um, mm. I guess we can do a quick look here. So there's. This is the Brazilian spinach here, so it's also quite easy to propagate. So this is like a um, savory fruit and vegetable garden? Yeah, this is exactly yeah. Mm -hmm. more savory. We do have some papayas, so we're trying to do oh. various things. With the oh, cool. Interplanting. This is kind of new. Yeah, I really like it. It looks really papaya. nice, this space. A lot of variety. This one tastes good too. Yeah, so this one, it's in a decent soil, so it's got like somewhat bigger leaves. They're I notice uh, the smaller ones, like you can see some others, maybe I might show you where they're not so healthy and then people are thinking, oh, they don't taste good, but actually just they're not healthy. Hmm. It's a very resilient plant. It can grow in like nothing. You can just stick it in some soil and mud. Uh, but if it's like void of minerals, it won't taste as good. So it's, it's good as a ground cover. I put it in many places if yeah you come check out my lot hopefully so you'll mm -hmm. see like right next to my house steps and the various places i have it okay cool and what is this this is a papaya That's, yeah oh okay oh, so yeah. we have some papayas that are it's kind of an experiment that we decided to test it out because we like papayas and they don't grow as well in like moist areas so here there's like a bed where the water can drain out better and mm. the soil is better so they're a bit more sensitive, uh, fragile kind of with the roots. So what I was thinking is like why we don't usually put them in pots as much because they don't transplant that well. They they can, uh, yeah, just get stressed from the transplanting process. They can give a fruit within about nine, ten months maybe. Oh, wow. I think those are the leaf cutter ants. No grass cutter ants, but they're cutting leaves. Yeah, they're taking away. The, they're taking uh, the leaves. <laughs> yeah, so these are the cranberry hibiscus that they find uh, interesting. They actually interesting fact, I guess, is that they don't eat the leaves. They take them to their nest. Oh uh, yeah, this is a very so cool. This is another uh, thing you can taste is uh, get a chance to get give them a try of this uh, cranberry. lettuce here this one you can try I don't know. yeah here Ooh, we go. thank you you can have a whole salad just walking yeah that's it. so this is a mustard green we got the seeds oh, mustard greens. in the market huh? uh, but some people brought various kinds of seeds with them so mm. i don't think we have we used to have one mm. that's like really really spicy like a horseradish oh it's so tasty but it's like um, it's sharp it's this rough. one is not too strong Flavor. No, I mean the leaf itself right. is actually like it's jagged, <laughs> but the flavor is really nice. Hot. So that's this bush here. Right? Yeah, um, yeah, it's these leaves here. Yeah. There's not a whole lot more. We can do the rest of the from the other side. Yeah. Okay. Right. Shea was making a salad. They tend to grow up up higher, so just cut it right here. 
and then I would have this and strip the leaves and let them regrow their branches. So if you look at this one, you have the branches growing out because mm -hmm. I pruned it here. And this was recently done. So once in a couple weeks, you'll see the new hey, growth. Cute little flowers. Oh yeah, they make little flowers and so berries as well, which are edible. Over there, if you see the big grass is lemongrass. Oh wow. So we have lemongrass is nice. I put it around here so that there's less bugs. Although yeah. I don't think it really helps that much. But it doesn't. <laughs> people like to use it in I teas. Think. So it's nice kind of grass. We could probably get some cuttings if you wanted. Yeah. Sour sop tree behind there. That's, oh, that big one is a sour that's sop? That's a grafted one. And then there's wow, it's on huge. that side is an older one that's probably like maybe 40 years old. That huge one there? Yeah. Wow. And it's given some sour sops in the past. Oh, They're that's just amazing. Kind of dropping because they get too tall. The ground cover. So the other, so Brazilian spinach I like to use and pinto peanut. So it's related to the peanut, but it does not make the edible peanut. But this is a perennial one, whereas the peanut will just give one peanut and you know die. Hmm. Um, here's a bunch of starchy tubers that are called papachino or taro, the more common name. Locally oh wow, taro, yeah. Papachino. Papachino. Yeah, which is like means Chinese potato in Spanish. <laughs> oh, funny. <laughs> so yeah, more katuk. And here we planted recently more lemongrass. Naranjilla. Naranjilla. So Naranjilla, this yeah, sour fruit. If you like sour fruits or if you like to eat the uh, miracle berry, then this will taste sweet. This is related to the tomato. The hard skin is not really the inside good. The, skin. the inside will be sour, yeah. If you want, I can cut it. Yeah, please. So weird, like tomato yeah, orange. it's like orange, yeah. Orange, tomato, and it's gonna orange. be sour too, so. So yeah, I don't know. You like <laughs> sour things? Do you like yeah. noni? Have you ever tried I've never noni? tried noni, actually. I've heard okay. so many things about it. But... Well, we have a bunch of noni. You can like squeeze mm. the juice into your mouth if you like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's really good. Okay. Thank you. Like oh yeah, I see how the skin is very thick. So this area you can consider, mm. I think, in permaculture, like the zone near the house. You plant stuff that you could just immediately have, you know. So all the katu, all the greens, you could just harvest right away. Mm -hmm. We don't have a fridge, you know, we just come and grab chili. We have a chili. Um, this one's been okay. There's a couple varieties. The pool and the pond hut over there. So I'm cleaning this pool now because it's been a lot of mud from the rain. So I'm going to let it dry out a little bit. What's that there, that little pond? Uh, this pond is, yeah, drains into the pond. I think they used to maybe pond fish or something. And then the guy, uh, when they caught Fruit Haven, one of the owners, Malcolm, actually donated some money to build this pool. Yeah, because it's a cool feature to have. Mm. Uh, yeah, it just drains into the pond, which drains into the river. Mm -hmm. Why is that house there? Like, uh, yeah. It's a pond house where uh, Kevin stayed for a while. Um, yeah, it's a nice cabin. This variety of banana is called Orito. The way to identify the banana variety is if you look at the trunk here, there's this spot and the specific color of green. It's like a darker shade of green. Um, there are other indicators too. Of course, if you see the fruit, you'll probably know uh, more likely of what variety and if you plant it you know what it is hopefully not actually trees they're closer related to uh, grass where they have the corm which is the root ball and they shoot off these suckers which eventually get bigger and give a fruit when they give a fruit they're done they're chopped off they dry out and um, you can look at some dried ones if you see and then for planting them since those bananas have been bred out of having seeds they uh, have to be planted from a sucker that's a specific size that's ready to be transplanted a sword sucker so it has pointed leaves um, so here let's look at probably something like this might be this one here it's probably a really nice sucker it's got straight leaves it's not too small this fan has way too many bananas on it. They, they come off the side of the, the corm and they suck nutrients and water and everything. So if you have mm. too many of them, 
eventually you end up getting like less bananas or like aborted bananas where they just start growing and then just stop uh, or the whole stand will just die. This so. one had ingrown bananas where the fruit, yeah, because I chopped these off so they're like just growing into it and it didn't like come out and they were unhealthy yeah. so I had to chop them off. And this probably has like 20 suckers, it should too be many. like one big one, one medium one, one small one and maybe a baby and, and that's it. So you have to kind of like, if there's too many suckers either dig them out or chop them. But if they get big like this, it's, they end up getting less, fewer bananas. And they're less tree. quality as well. The quality of the banana itself will be lower. It might not even be really edible to me. I wouldn't even eat it. Just like it's so small and crunchy and not tasty. and the bathroom. Beautiful. I'd rather make something like this. 500 bucks? Yeah. Underestimating? Probably over. Overestimating? <laughs> yeah, this is cheap to put together. Okay. The third floor doesn't cost anything. You know, just Dig it. The posts and the roof is pretty cheap. All you really pay is the, the materials, the labor. You see it? Yeah, I varnished. Varnished. Fruit kitty. You're gonna have some banana. Uh, 